fourth generation farm here. It was established in 1902. Um, grandfather was one of the first in the valley to uh, um, plant tall fescue uh, or grass seed in the valley. And we started the flowers in the 80s after we got married and what we're doing today. Uh, we had a, a fire event uh, that caused the loss of a building uh, that did our seed processing. Um, and we were looking for funding for that. At the same time, we were also trying to figure out a, a better advantage for farm operating loan. We've always tried to set goals for this operation, and the goals have been um, long-range and short-term goals. And with Harvest Cap, we've been able to take those goals and achieve them with uh, the financing and, and a lot of times just a lot of the visiting back and forth about how we could get to where we want to be and what there is out there to get us there. Most farmers go to the trough every year and ask for a handout. I shouldn't say a handout, but you go and you ask for a loan. Every year you got to come in and ask, okay, this is my plan, this is my budget, this is what I'm going to do. Usually every year they never dig out of that hole. They are so used to borrowing. So what happens is they get in this rut of borrowing, they never figure out how to get past it. The, the program that we had set up, we had worked together on it and figured out a plan of getting like half of our operating up ahead. So suddenly now you got money in your account. You have to manage that money. It's not, it's not going to the bank every time I need money to do something. So it, it helped you learn how to manage the money so that when you did have the money, you didn't go spend it all. It's not the long, it's always looking to the future. Because if you don't plan for the future, you're, you're not gonna be able to reach your goals in the future. It's a lot of bumps in the road. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the first time I, yes, I did. I checked around a few places. Financing was very difficult back when we did that back in the 90s for us. You had ran an ad in the Capitol Press, and I think, if I remember correctly, um, I called and talked to Brian, and we had a lot in common. So it just kind of went from there. Um, good financing planning for the future, um, for setting the goals um, and the needs of what we need to, for our operation. You're, you're working with, with people that have a lot of agriculture experience, um, farming back, background, ranching background, uh, understood the needs, uh, understood the issues. Knowledgeable, competitive, friendly, and experienced. <laughs>